Oh, all right. So, back again. And this time we're working on the promo image, or one of them. I have a few ideas for the promo image. This is just the first one I happen to be working on. <laughs> um, oh, wow, this was... I guess this one was perhaps the most threatening one to me, personally. They say that the things you procrastinate on the most are the things that you either care about the most or care about the least. And I happen to care a lot about this promotional image because it kind of felt permanent in some ways. Once I put it out there, there was no taking it back. There was no excuse. Oh, I can change it in the future. Or it's just a rough or something. I had a lot of difficulty wrapping my head around the idea that things were final. I think that's why I like working with rough projects a lot, just because there's no pressure for it to be perfect. But once you make something final, once you submit that final draft or publish something or put something out there, you're saying, this is it for now at least. And it's, it's a lot of pressure and it made me feel really, really uh, uncomfortable. Um, and for that reason, I guess, uh, well, it motivated me in two ways. It made me feel very, um, I guess I was very intent on making it look good. So I was very careful with it, but I was also so nervous. And if you have too much of that nervousness, then it'll overtake you and you won't be able to make anything. You're just gonna be like, oh god, I should freak it out. But, oh, they say that the faster you fail, the faster you improve. So, this is me failing fast. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is why I tried to document all of this. It was important for me to document everything. I think I make this for myself more than anyone else. There's something relaxing about looking back at all of this and saying, Hey, there you are. Doing your thing, making progress even if, uh, if it seems insignificant at the time. So yeah, this was, uh, this was still fun. Even if it was very nerve-wracking, it was very fun. And this is essentially, um, this is one of the promos that I had in mind. It's a parody of, what is it, every, or not another high school movie or something. So this is uh, supposed to be a parody of that because it's supposed to be like this cliche, uh, cliche anime dating sim yeah cliche anime dating sim and uh and that's what it is cliche anime dating sim <laughs> so it takes advantage of that it labels everyone like i think it's like you got oh this is the uh the chick with the with the i don't know like the chick with the quiet voice or this is the vanilla road or something like that i put labels um and then I think after this I wanted to do another one with what was the other promo I wanted to do you know maybe this was the only promo <laughs> but I feel like there was another one because this was the more Western inspired one and then I wanted to do a really Eastern inspired one like a I guess a cliche anime thing? I don't know, because this already is there. <laughs> They're already being labeled and everything. You know, I think this is fine. I don't need another promo. We're good. <laughs> um, tried to put a lot of, a lot of vivacity into their poses. Tried to give off their personalities as much as possible. And I think at the very least it was, it was, uh, what, what are we referencing this for? Alright, I'll just cut this part out. Hold on. Oh, oh, it stopped. Okay. Yeah. I only drew the rough in this. Just because... I said a lot. Just because. I, I only drew the rough because I felt... That, again, comes to that nervousness. I didn't want to line it and put down those final marks and say... This is it. This is what I'm going to show to the world. It's just one of those steps I didn't want to take yet. But maybe putting this out will help me to overcome that fear and I'll be able to continue working. Because I really need to. I am behind on my, my self-enforced schedule, but still. I want it. So then, 
this is this is what I'll have. I mean, I guess in the long run, I think it looks comforting. Oh yeah, there! That's what I wanted. More like Otome toast. 